Okay. Some of you are probably tired of seeing this bike. I don't know. I don't think I've done a real uh, talk up on this one. Um, if I did, then this is redundant. I am not going to apologize for that because it's bitching. This is a Worksman's frame. This is an older Worksman's frame. It was from the 80s. So not super old. But uh, Worksman, that was a company that was in New York for years. Uh, since 1898, I believe, uh, New York. They recently moved from New York, you know, the commie state of New York, down to, I believe, North Carolina. Super heavy duty frame made for factory workers. A lot of guys in the film industry ride these around on sets. It's a lugged frame, brazed. The newer ones, I could tell you, because I've handled them, not as heavy duty. I mean, they're still heavy duty bikes compared to a lot of the bikes that are out there. But this frame is tougher. And I, it's even heavier. I have uh, one of the newer ones up over there hanging. So I was able to compare. And I think maybe the tubing, wall tubing thickness may be thicker on these older ones. Rear face and dropouts. This is a... Uh, an urban clunker, but it's easily you can easily gear this. Just put a larger sprocket on the rear, and you can take this up some hills, ride through trails. I've done it. So I'm running a sealed bearing bottom bracket with three-piece profile cranks. I was able to machine the hi-hat washer here to make this old Schwinn sprocket work. That's a 46 up front, and I'm running a 16 on the rear. There's nothing super special about these wheels. They were on a felt. Uh, they are a double walled aluminum. Um, it's not a super high end coaster brake, but I've had no problems. I've rebuilt this coaster brake and it, it's fine. I do power slides in it every weekend. The fellas can tell you. Went with a quick release seat post. That is a Schwinn 13 16 thickness post with a walled shim in this, which is what you need to do with these older frames. I think this is an Atomic Cycles uh, solid aluminum post. It's got a 7 8 uh, top to it, so modern seat guts fit, even though this is not a modern saddle. This is your old school person saddle. Very comfortable. Um, it's interesting. This is a super long post. It's solid aluminum. It's not like I've used solid aluminum posts before. I just buy 6061, 1316 solid aluminum. That's stiff. This this post actually flexes quite a bit. Um, I've had it on a 20 inch bike and it actually, you could bend it. So be careful with that. This is a uh, kind of a one of a kind. I found this on eBay out of Taiwan. It is a, uh, it's got the better wells. I mean, somebody laid some coin on that. Let's see this will. Of course, I'm going to have problems with it. There you go. Real nice welds. Thick piece of steel. Nice risers. It's your front slant double clamp stem. We all want those. They're cool. It's hard to find a decent stem like that at a fair price with good welds. Of course, the uh, Worksman Frames was a proprietary uh, set of uh, cups here. And you can make that work with Schwinn bearings and a Schwinn race uh, nut there. It's running a Schwinn fork, which was a little tweaked. This fork was on my red Schwinn cantilever frame. I got, I got it for a steal, and it had the fork, headset, and stem on it. And when I got it back to the shop, I realized, oh, son of a bitch, the stem was stuck. And those of you who followed me years ago and watched me go through that fiasco, I just cut the stem off, pulled the fork, stuck the fork upside down in some vinegar, and that uh, stem eventually fell right out of there. But when I was trying to get it out, I had this on a steel fence and I was tweaking it, and I actually tweaked these fork legs. So this fork was not riding straight for a long time. I recently put it in my vise and stuck a pipe in there and fixed that. In case you're curious, it's a 2.4 tire, it's a fat tire, and that is fitting in a Schwinn fork. Running a Diacomp caliper brake, cool stop pads with the mountain bike lever. That is my setup. That always works. It stops very, very well. These grips, it's like your old school waffle grips, these are actually from a snapper mower. 
You go to the Snapper Mower site, look at parts. You can get these grips for less than five bucks a set. They're fantastic because they have no flange. So if you're running a gear shifter, old school thumb shifter, this works great. And, uh, you know, they're designed to be outside with the sun beating on them all the time. So they really hold up. Chad bars. It's got the Indian head nickel on this side, face and forward. I have him do that on all the bars I have make me. I think I have one set that I got from him that doesn't have that. Because before I came up with that idea, I think that's tough. I just, you know, put a hole in the end of these grips so you can see it. Jefferson's on the other side. I just like having them both, uh, you know, face and forward. Because I'm kooky like that. Stickers. Rayco Surf Shop, hometown right there, man. Which is right here, Seaside Park, New Jersey. Gotta give the love, gotta give the love for back home. Got the uh, Santa Cruz Bigfoot Museum sticker. You know those van stickers, they give you a free sticker with your shoes. They never last. It's a bunch of bullshit right there. Main China, I'm sure. Got the old Glory sticker. I don't even know if that place is open anymore. Hollywood Boulevard. Got the... Mike Z design sticker, probably the coolest sticker on the bike. Come on, let's get real. The old wave jammer. Who remembers the wave jammer back home in Jersey? Huh? Wow. I don't think that's going to focus like that. Got the old Goonies sticker here. Good fellas. Team Blue Collar, Surf and Skate. A little love there. We got the Strandy Cruiser guys because they're awesome. Favorite people to ride with these days. Good fellas. Ow! Marine Corps. This, uh, what you see here with these blue plastic balls here, those are two cords, uh, elastic cords. You know, you wear your flannel, you roll it up, you put it on the bars. You tie it down with those things, it's perfect. Got a chain, some tools and whatnot in the uh, in a lock, in a little bag there. But there you have it. Super tough, urban clunky, clunker, strandy cruiser. Beat the piss out of it, it'll take it. Uh, not planning on selling this. Originally I built this in a different configuration for a super big dude. It was a deal that just fell apart, and I ended up stuck with it, and I'm happy because I dig it. And this is a bike I'll probably just keep in the stable. I'm trying to lighten the load and sell a bunch of stuff, but I think it's kind of cool to have a Worksman.